Crutches and butts were candy and nuts. We'd all have a Merry Christmas. Well, this is Steve Ridgewell, and I just shared with you one of my father-in-law, Don Hurtenberger. That was one of his favorite sayings. He would say it periodically when he would hear someone say, oh, I just wish I'd done that, and I just wish I'd done that, and I wish this hadn't happened, and I wish that hadn't happened. And and he'd, they'd say, well, I, I would do this, but. I, I wouldn't do that, but. And they always had a way to make excuses, and they're always looking back, and if things just be a little better, and he'd just chuckle and say, if wishes and buts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. You know, it's really easy to get lost in the, oh, if things had just been this way, and I wish it had happened that way. It's easy to be locked into the past so much that you don't see your future. It's really easy to make so many excuses. You don't change anything about your life. And I've thought a lot about that. You know, I'm going to tell you, of course, we all wish things had been different. We all wish we'd made different choices sometimes. Well, here's the thing. If you're a believer, if you're a Christian, Jesus has forgiven your past. All those things you wish you had done and wish you hadn't done, Jesus forgave those. So because he's done that, let your past go. It's forgiven. Don't dwell in it because, see, Satan really wins if you spend your whole time wishing about your regrets. Don't do that. Don't live in your past. God's got a future for you. I don't care if you're 15 or 85. God's got a future for you. And that future is today. So don't wish what had been and stop making excuses. I would have, but I will, but don't, don't do that. If you want to help somebody, just help them. Don't talk about why you can't. Don't, especially don't do that with God. Well, God, if I ever get this, I'll do. And the reason I don't is because don't play that game. Of course, if <laughs> wishes and butts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas, but they're not. So let's focus on today. Do what you can for God. He's forgiven your past and God's giving you what you need what you need to live for him. So stop making the excuses. Love God. Make decisions for God. Wake up every day and say, God, how can I live for you? And if you're not a Christian, I want to tell you, God wants to remake your future. He wants to write you into his story. He gave a son to die for you so you could live with him forever. And if you decide to follow him, he uses you in this world to do amazing things. So see, here's the great thing about Jesus, we don't have to do the wishes and the buts. We do have a Merry Christmas. In fact, we have a Merry every day because of Jesus. So I'd encourage you, if you are a Christian, focus on what God wants you to do. And if you're not, then please take a look at the Jesus way because it really does change everything. So I know that it's September, but I'm wishing you a Merry Christmas. Christmas. This is Steve Ridgel thanking God that I don't have to live with the wishes and the buts.